Yeah, Mariupol is the city that's perhaps been hardest hit during this war. And there's now another attempt to deliver relief so desperately needed by the people there this morning. An aid convoy trying to make its way into Mariupol after Russia, Russia and Ukraine agreed to a temporary ceasefire. Dozens of Red Cross trucks also trying to get as close to that port city as they possibly can. According to a statement, quote, it's desperately important that this operation takes place as the lives of tens of thousands of people in Mariupol depend on it. That's from the Red Cross. Here's what one official from the Red Cross had to say. It's about medicines. We have war wounded kids. So to treat people wounded by explosive ordnance of war, or ammunition, food, it's a lot about food, water, essential, what we call essential items, hygiene parcel, many, many basic necessities. Today's operation comes after Russian forces blocked an aid convoy yesterday. They've been doing that. Ukraine's deputy prime minister said Russian seized 14 tons of food and medical supplies and stopped 45 buses that were trying to evacuate civilians. Hundreds of thousands of people remain trapped in that strategic seaside port that is very low, desperately low on food, water and medicine. Every attempt to deliver aid has been thwarted by Russian shelling. Joining us now, NBC News correspondent Molly Hunter live from Lviv, Ukraine, with more on the situation there. Molly, good morning. Willie, good morning to you. And I just want to pick up on the conversation you guys were just having on Odessa. I just got back from a few days in Odessa. Of course, it is on the southwest uh, of the southern coast, uh, far from Mariupol on the other side. But everyone there is talking about basically what happens in Mariupol. The fate of Mariupol is going to dictate how quickly, you know, Russian warships free up in the Sea of Azov and get back to the Black Sea, how quickly troops uh, on the ground start to move from Kherson even further west to Odessa. So even in Odessa, they know they're on the target list. They are fortifying that city. They have been waiting anxiously to see what happens. They are watching Mariupol very, very closely. Now, today, our understanding, Willie, is that another aid convoy is standing by in Berdyansk. So our understanding is that 42 buses, Berdyansk is another coastal city. It is on the evacuation route from Mariupol to Zaporizhia. Those 42 buses are ready to carry about 2,000 people out to Zaporizhia. But part of these humanitarian corridors and the agreement uh, that is made and brokered by the ICRC is that humanitarian aid gets in. So as you said yesterday, a humanitarian aid convoy was blocked. The ICRC put out a statement, made a huge deal announcing, making sure both sides, making sure the world knew that they were planning to bring in life-saving aid this morning. And we do not have word whether or not uh, that has made it inside that city. Mariupol, of course, has been besieged, starved out. Our understanding is that about 100 to 170,000 people remain inside. But Willie, when you combine this picture in the southeast with the fact that there's no de-escalation, uh, in the northeast around Chernihiv and Kyiv, the trust on the Ukrainian side, and I can only speak to the Ukrainian side, is extremely low going into these virtual peace talks today. And there's no reason here that anyone uh, feels like they can take Putin or Moscow at their word, either kind of agreeing on humanitarian quarters, de-escalating in the northeast, or in any kind mm -hmm. of uh, longer, more lasting ceasefire, Willie. Yeah, Vladimir Putin in Russia just starving the city of Mariupol out in plain sight after bombing it, flattening many of those buildings. NBC's Molly Hunter, thanks so much for your reporting this morning. We appreciate it. And Admiral James Stavridis, thank you very much as well. Always great to have your insights. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.